What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome. He's alive. Just let's just say it that way. The Beastly Gamer is alive and he's doing something that is not the amazing Revolver Live intro. Today I want to talk to you guys and uh, catch you up to date on what's going on with me. I've been uh, doing a lot of things recently, uh, focused on the future more so than anything else. Uh, let me just say it this way. I've been making a lot less videos lately for the last couple of months. Um, and I've been kind of torn between two things. I'm very, very, very politically driven uh, these days. There's a very contentious atmosphere concerning politics. And I'm have, I feel emotionally attached uh, to what's going on in our political atmosphere. I'm very frustrated, very angry, uh, looking at the direction of our... United States, uh, looking at what appears to be uh, covert corruption going on in the upper echelons of our government. And so it's been something really at the, the top of my, my mind for a long time. And I've been actively trying to pull myself away from it. So I've been playing an amazing game, uh, The Witcher 3, as you guys can see. I bought this game when it launched. Uh, and back then, uh, Kate was playing it with me and I got probably 20 to 25 hours in and then stopped to play something else and it's more than likely The Last of Us <laughs> I started playing back then it's been a few years and so after uh, completing the Final Fantasy uh, 12 remake she told me hey look I'm going to play this game with you to completion and after this I want you to promise me that you'll play through The Witcher with me because she wanted to beat it again because she said it was so awesome the game is one of the best games I've ever played there's so much lore and the game is so heavy uh, and honestly I don't think I've ever played a game that had so much content it's really un it's breathtaking how much they actually packed into this game and you know when I walk around in the world and I'm out in, the, in you know in the forest or in a village it's hard to believe that a group of people came up with this it's just, it just seems such a daunting task to come up with all the stories and the side quests and all the characters and all the voice acts it's almost like a real world and so i'm heavily invested in seeing this game through to completion as well as beating all the dlcs because i do have all the uh, downloadable content for it as well so the game is amazing uh, i'm probably about 40 hours in on the game now and uh i'm just oh god i'm enjoying it so much so what's going on with me uh i've been like i said playing the witcher i bought uh Monster Hunter World, and I haven't even booted it up yet. <laughs> I bought it uh, because the Revolver guys wanted to play it, and uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of Monster Hunter. I think it's a great series. I enjoyed the beta that came out for Monster Hunter, and um, we're planning on getting together and doing a Revolver plays. We were going to do one today, uh, but some appointments fell through, and I'm guessing we're going to reschedule for next week or another time. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm also extremely excited about the Shadow of the Colossus remake uh, that dropped today. Uh, this game is definitely a must-have for me. I didn't buy it today, uh, but it's a must-have. Uh, i got to find time to play it. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus is one of the greatest games I've ever played, and now that I've seen what they've done with this and the way they breathed new life into the game and made it look so amazing. Uh, I just can't wait to dig my dig my, my nails into that game and, and play it. It's going to be really, really something. Uh, recently, I had an issue uh, with my PlayStation 4 Pro. I, uh, I, I guess it'd be about 15 days ago now. I was playing my PlayStation and my controller went dead. So I plugged in my USB and it wouldn't recognize my controller. The PlayStation wouldn't. And neither of the front USB ports on the Pro would work. And I was trying to figure out what's going on. Now, the Pro has three ports and has one on the back. But that's predominantly, for me at least, used for PlayStation VR. So the back USB port worked. And uh, the two front didn't. So I contacted Sony. They sent me a box. Uh, they, they told me to put my Pro inside the box, mail it out to them, and... Uh, they would fix it because my pro is still in warranty. So I was like, okay, I normally don't do this kind of stuff. I've never done it before, but I'm going to go ahead and do it now to get this thing fixed before my, my warranty runs out. So they got it. It went way out to Laredo, Texas. And I believe that they had it for about a day before they sent me an email saying that it's done and it's on its way back. So I was pretty excited. My pro came back yesterday and um, it took them, the whole process probably took just right at two weeks 
uh, for for them to receive it, for them to have it, and for them to send it back. And uh, when I finally got it back and I plugged it in, lo and behold, to my amazement, the Pro had been factory reset. They factory reset my PlayStation Pro, uh, which sounds fine. Uh, but I immediately noticed, you know, Kate was next to me. She said, are all your games and your saves deleted? And I was like, I hope not. I hope that, you know, this is Sony. I'm, I'm sure they found a way to get this thing done without destroying everything that I've been doing for the last couple of years. But to my surprise and extreme uh, stress, I turned it on and realized everything was gone, including all my saves. Luckily for me, I just uploaded the Witcher save to the cloud so I could play it on my regular PlayStation while the Pro was gone. Unfortunately, there's a ton of games on my Pro that I beat. Horizon, uh, my Final Fantasy saves, everything is gone, completely gone. And so I called Sony and I got them on the phone and the guy, he said, no problem, sir. All you have to do is go into the PlayStation setting and make sure, because I'm sorry, he was an Arab man. Make sure that you have your games on the cloud because it's automatically uploaded. I said, all right, well, I don't think that's my, my situation because I game share with my wife. And so in order to game share, my main account is on her PlayStation and I've signed in to my secondary on my Pro so we both can play and enjoy all the PlayStation Plus and all, all the goodies. And in order for your stuff to upload automatically, you have to have it on your main PlayStation. Therefore, I was fucked. So Sony screwed me. He said, sir, I'm so sorry. There's nothing we can do. I said, well, goddamn, man. Couldn't you guys have texted me? I mean, sent me an email to ask me if it's okay to factory reset all my data. He said, that's not normally what we do. I said, well, no one told me that my USB ports would require you guys to completely reset my PlayStation. So I'm a little burnt about that. I was a little pissed off about it. But, you know, there are other things in life to worry about other than video game saves. I mean, I still have all my games. So all is good in the world, as Gary Diaz would say. And last but not least, I'm starting a business. Uh, I'm going to, uh, hopefully within the next two or three weeks, have it up and running. And I'll be getting with you guys about that. Uh, I'm really excited. Uh, I've never been a business owner. Um, and I think it's a, it's a dream I've had for a long time. And I'm, I'm looking for I'm looking for the American dream. I'm looking for the same thing that you're looking for and your family's looking for. I want prosperity. I want happiness. I want peace of mind. And I want quality of time. And I think that this venture that I'm, I'm going off and to do uh, will yield all those benefits for me. And I look forward to uh, a very exciting update on my future uh, with my business. But I wanted to talk to you guys to let you know what I'm doing, let you know that I'm still here. I still love you guys. Uh, I got to pull myself away from the politics because I come home from work so pissed off every day <laughs> and get back into my game and get back into my, my peeps. That's you guys and talk to you more and, and express myself more on this genre of entertainment. I love you guys. It's been a while. Uh, let me know your comments. What have you been playing lately? Uh, have you ever had any issues with Sony? Uh, do you have any thoughts on Monster Hunter World? Should I stop playing The Witcher to play that? Or are you guys in my camp saying that I need to completely finish The Witcher <laughs> before I do anything else? I, I feel at this point I'd be a little stressed out if I stopped playing it to go somewhere else. I also want to get the Final Fantasy Dissidia game for PS4. That looks like it's going to be extremely fun. I'm a huge Final Fantasy fan if you didn't know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up to show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group. Follow me on Twitter and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time.